In this video, we'll see how to install Maven on Amazon Linux machine. Let's go to AWS Management Console. Launch Instance, Amazon Linux 2. Maven doesn't have any specific system requirements. Maven works on even small EC2 instance types. Even it works on Nano or any other type. I am going with T2 Micro, which is free tier eligible. Instance details, leave all this stuff as it is. Storage, I am leaving it. Tags, I want to add name. We are installing Maven 3. Security group, I have created a security group for the demonstration of installing Nexus, which has all ports open. I am choosing same security group. Coming to key pair, I already have a key pair created. I want to go with existing key pair. Let's wait for Maven AC2 instance to come up. So Maven server is up. Let's pick its public IP. Go to terminal and SSH into Maven AC2 instance. I have kept PEM file in my downloads. Its name is hari.pem. Default username for Amazon Linux is EC2 user. Followed by its public IP. For Maven to work, we need JDK. We need Java Runtime as well as Java Development Kit both. Make sure you are installing JDK, not JRE. If you don't have JDK installed, Maven will not work. Let's use sudo mlist and search for JDK packages. The package name which contains DEVL which stands for development is your JDK. The package name which doesn't contain Iphen DEVGL is not containing JDK that has only JRE. So I would like to install JDK. Let's cross verify installation of Java. Java iPhone version, which is your JVM. Java C iPhone version, which is your compiler. Next, let's download. Next, let's download Maven from its download page. In the internet, search for Maven download. Go to its page. Copy link of binary tar file. So let's stay in OPT. I want to install Maven under OPT. Use wget download binaries. So Maven downloaded, let's extract it. Okay, let's also rename it. Even I would like to change permissions for Maven 3. Change the owner to EC2 user. Do it recursively. So I'm changing the ownership for Maven 3 recursively to EC2 user and EC2 user group. 
the next step is add maven to the path copy this cd bin okay let's copy this and why because under bin we have mvn command i want mvn command in the path to add maven to path let's open dot bash rc after if statement let's expose path i'm adding path to maven bin use path separator and make sure you include existing path so usually environment variables are loaded when you log in the one we added right now will not reflect immediately you have to re-log in or use source command and point to the file where we added environment variables and try executing mvn so right now i am inside bin even if you come out of bin and try mvn command it has to work because right maven is added in the path you can use maven command from anywhere in the system this is how we install maven on linux machine in next video we'll see how to upload maven artifacts to nexus